Oh no! Hang Seng Index down 6% today. So this caught everyone by surprise. In fact, all of us thought that today will be a huge rally. Instead, it came as a surprise down 6%. So what WTF? What the fuck happened? So there are a lot of issues, a lot of problems with the system. So in the China market, right, the users report that they can't deposit their money, they can't make the trade. So there's a system error. Then yesterday night, right, they actually announced that users that are new, that open their account during the golden week, right, they are unable to trade today. They can only trade tomorrow. So the buyer will only come in tomorrow. So that's another issue because too many account opening already. So to be fair, they cannot complete the account opening. Everyone delayed by one day. So Wednesday, the retail investors then will come in. So today is mostly trading by the institutional investor. And we saw the Han Seng Index, the Hong Kong market. They actually sell down and take profits in the market open, down 2-3%. So when people were expecting a green day, suddenly it turned red. A lot of people paper hand. So my thing is, please do not paper hand, especially if you're holding high quality companies, blue chip companies or the ETF, they are not going to zero. The world is not crashing. Don't panic or stay calm, take a deep breath. Also, yes, the market is selling down, but in such a huge bull market, pullbacks like this, a drop of five or six percent is actually normal. Or is they are just trying to flush out the weak hands. So I'm not selling anything. So. This morning, I do complete my hiking. I see, wow, crash already. I faster make this video to update you all. So uh, later, I'll go back and see. I might buy a bit more banks. I see what's the price. But I think they dropped 3%. So it's about the price that I bought them. So if, if they drop further, I might buy a bit more banks today. If I got buy, I will update. If not, I'm not doing anything. I just hold and deal and collect my dividends. That's why when you look at your stocks, right? You must buy high quality companies and you must be have a, having a good conviction of their fundamentals and you do not paper hand when uh, there's a downturn like today so the 10 a.m meeting has begun already now it's, i think it's at 10 15 now when i'm doing uh, this recording so it's a live meeting they'll slowly give out the measures so the rumors of this seller is that the ma the, the stimulus package that they give is too small too weak so it did not enforce the confidence uh, of the uh, investors so it might be that the stimulus package is disappointing we see that i think by end of the day it should uh, recover a bit because the stimulus is supposed to push the economy just that we don't know the details there's uncertainty so i will cover the details of the stimulus package uh, tonight in my the 8 p.m uh, live stream so today i want to share three things or uh, for everyone that is panicking i want to give you all three tips uh, or uh, three important tips that hope you all can ingrain it into yourself so the number one thing is right don't leverage don't sell your house to play this uh, Ch Hong Kong China market uh, only invest with money you can afford to lose because the market can catch us by surprise we are on the boat but suddenly the Godzilla come whack our ship sink just like today everyone thought that the main lenders will come and to buy up the market but the main lenders didn't come the new investors they cannot trade they can only trade tomorrow those that want to trade they, the system got error cannot deposit money cannot make the trade so the volume is much lesser yeah, in the China market. Yeah, it, it, it did not hit the circuit breaker, surprisingly. Uh, everybody thought that it would hit the circuit breaker. Market open, it was up like 8 or 9 percent. Then suddenly, it's only up 6 percent in the Shanghai market. I think 10 percent is the uh, up upward circuit breaker. So in China, we see social media people selling their house, borrowing max money. And but the problem now is that they have the money in their bank account. They are unable to transfer it to the brokerage account because the the brokerage account is overwhelmed. The system overwhelmed. So, Everybody keep transferring money, but the money bounce back. Ca cannot transfer into the brokerage account. So that's the stupid thing. Ah. So pe a lot of people still want to trade. But today is a chaotic day. It's messy. It's a cock up. It's a system error. That's why there's a lot of fear and things are very chaotic. So we as a Singaporean or my viewers, most of us from Asia. Lah, so don't sell your house. Don't swipe your credit card. Don't borrow money to play this market because it's unexpectable things can, can get bad we might even lose money so and the thing is uh, especially if you have a wife and you have kids uh, be responsible to your family you should put the amount in the stock market that even if it's wiped out it dropped to zero you can still continue your life 
you still go to your job, you still make your money and you still support your family. Do have the basic responsibility for your family lah. So I'm saying this but as a person that is single lah. So, so uh, for me, uh, I'm on the other side. So I'm more risk taking and I'm on 1.5 times leverage. That means every $1, I borrow 50 cents from my broker at an interest cost of 6.8% interest rate lah. So yes, I'm more aggressive, but this amount uh, that I put in right is something that I can afford to lose. Even the market crash 30%, my account is wiped out or what, margin call, I can still continue living my life. I can still continue hiking, do my YouTube, collect my rental. My life is not affected. Also, be prepared for the worst. Do not uh, leverage. So if you die, die want to leverage, for example, you are single like me, you're in your 20s, you want to leverage. The most you should leverage is 1.2 or 1.5 times using your margin account. So every $1 you borrow 20 to 50 cents. So at 1.5 times leverage, the most we can withstand is a 40% drop. If the market drops more than 40%, you will face a margin call. You either uh, top up money or you sell your shares. And that will be very painful lah, to liquidate your shares when it's down 40%. So don't use leverage, don't sell your house, don't swipe credit card loan. Then the second point I want to share is that uh, don't FOMO, try to be less emotional. And the way for us to remove the emotion, right, is don't look at the stock price, look at the valuation. So like now today the market is down uh, 5%. So look at the valuation, is the market down because it's overvalued? Answer is no, is, is, is the stocks fairly priced or undervalued? So the Hong Kong market is still undervalued. So this. Uh, 5%, 6% drop is just temporary. Give it time, it will eventually be higher. Like I bought the banks at four times earnings, 7% dividend yield. So it crash, even crash another 10, 20%, I don't care. I just hold and collect money. Unless it crash 40%, uh, crash 40%, I will get margin call. Then I'm dead already. But that's another thing. Uh, but most of you all don't use leverage. So even if it's down 40%, you, you collect the 7% dividend. In fact, if it's down 10, 20%, you, and the dividend yield is 8 or 9%, you want to add more. So the crash is actually an opportunity to buy the dip and add more. But you will only have this conviction if you're looking at the fundamentals that the dividend yield 7 or 8% is attractive. If you look at the stock price, oh no, master, ah, keep dropping, ah, drop 5%, drop, ah, yeah, very stressed, ah, sell, 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 cut loss. Or oh, then cannot. So uh, try to be less emotional. Don't FOMO. Look at the valuation. If the market going forward, if the market goes up 10, 20%, and valuations are on the high side, don't chase. That's, that's why I, I hope that all of us, we are positioned now. And most of us, 90% of us, we are already positioned before uh, today's crash. So I think this caught us by surprise. So continue to stay strong, hold and collect dividends. Or stay calm, collect dividends and carry on. Then the last point is uh, don't speculate. So only hold companies that are blue chip or the ETF. So ETF is very straightforward. You hold the Hansen Index, 82 bullshit companies. Can the index drop to zero? Answer is no. Cannot be all 82 companies go bankrupt. Maybe one or two of them go bankrupt, but the index cannot go to zero. So if you are very risk adverse, you are more scared, just buy the index. In fact, today, 5% drop, easy buy on the 2800. So you want to buy the dip, you want to buy the index. Maybe later, I don't know what to buy, I just buy the Hansen Index. That's what I might do later, but I'll update you all if, if I buy uh, tonight. Then, it, uh, go for blue chip companies. Why? Because blue chip companies are companies that have a track record of earnings and profitability. Do not buy loss making companies. So you will see previously, right, over the past one week, right, small cap companies, some of them, they rallied five times or seven times, like the small brokerage firm, because there's a news that they have overwhelming new accounts, right? So some small cap brokers, right, they actually rallied about 500, 700%. So you don't buy those because Brokerage industry is a very competitive industry. So short term, uh, they might be a boom, but you are not certain what is their fundamentals, what is, what is the boost to their revenues and earnings. Go for blue chip companies, example Alibaba, track record of revenues and earnings growth. Even during the downturn, their revenues continue to grow at a single digit. So long term, you know their business model works, they are a market leader and their business will continue to grow. So only go for large cap blue chip companies with a good track record of earnings and revenue growth. and especially good if they have a 6 or 7% dividend yield. So even the market crash, you continue to collect dividend, like the banks and the Lingris and the Ping An, you continue, you continue to collect uh, good dividend. So the, 
three pointers number one or only invest with money you can afford to lose don't leverage don't take on credit card debt don't sell your house number two uh, so only go for the blue chip companies uh, companies with a good track record avoid speculative small cap stocks that are loss making don't be uh, greedy da. don't be greedy so the third point suddenly uh, I forget already today I uh, uh, also in the panic mode uh, in the morning or uh, so many people like my friends they are also in the stock market everybody come and message me then my, my YouTube the chat also explode so basically my, my, my handphone explode even now as I'm doing this uh, my notification keep, keep coming so many people asking me uh, why the, the market is, is crashing so just look at the fundamentals focus on the fundamentals uh. don't be emotionally driven you look at the PE ratio look at the dividend you stay strong stay calm endure so short term it will be volatile tonight I will cover what's the details of the stimulus package uh. also then uh, we see how it goes. So good luck. Take care all. And the green dragon will come back.